Welcome back to the Physics Dojo. I'm Barry Panis. So today I want to address a very standard question in physics. I want to address it because although it's a standard question, I don't agree with the standard answer. All right, so here's the question. You're the passenger of a car, and that car is initially at rest, maybe at a red light, that has just turned green, and as a result, the car is going to accelerate. It's going to go faster and faster and faster and faster in the forward direction. The question is, which way do you, a passenger in that car, feel like you are being pushed, and why? Now, the standard answer to that question is something like this. It feels like you're being pushed backwards, kind of exaggerating that here, uh, the reason being inertia. Now, I've never been a fan of that, uh, that answer because it just didn't make sense to me. Uh, I understood what it was trying to say, but it just didn't make sense. So let me give you my answer and a, an explanation of it. I say that you feel like you're being pushed forwards, and the reason is you're being pushed forwards. There's not really much to explain on that second part. In fact, all I really have to do is convince you of the first part. This is feeling like you're being pushed forwards. I want you to really imagine that you're in a car that's accelerating forwards. Now, most people intuitively will say, no, 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 I feel like I'm being pushed backwards. Um, you know, I feel driven into the back of my seat. Uh, that's me being pushed backwards. I'm going to challenge you on that. I really, really would like you to rethink it. What if I asked you this question? You're standing on the ground, and a car comes from behind and hits you. Which way do you feel like you're being pushed from that car? Now, in that question, most people will give me the answer that I agree with. I feel like I'm being pushed forwards by the car. Well, to me, there's no difference. This is being pushed forwards by a car. You and I probably agree with that, but here's where we might stop agreeing. When you're in the car, I say the same thing's still happening. The car is pushing you forwards. This time, it's the back of your seat that's pushing you forwards, but it feels basically the same physics, at least. Now, to help clarify the matter, if you're still clinging onto the idea, no, 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 I've been in cars and I know exactly what that feels like, that's exactly the feeling of being pushed backwards, let me challenge you to rethink that. I think that what's actually happening there is a Newton's third law interaction. You are being pushed forwards by your seat and, in accord with Newton's third law, you are pushing the seat backwards. Which of those forces act on your body, though? The force acting backwards is on the seat, and the force acting forwards is on your body. That's the force that you feel. So don't confuse the fact of, uh, or don't confuse the two ideas, I guess, of being pushed versus pushing. Because even in this situation, if you put yourself back here, uh, there will be that same interaction. You will push the car backwards as the car pushes you forwards. But again, you're being pushed forwards, and that's exactly what it feels like. So to further make my case, let's just be clear about what it feels like to be pushed forwards. If you get pushed forwards, in this case by Spider-Man, then you will feel pressure coming from behind you, and your body will exert a force backwards. So in this case, Spider-Man is going to push Master Chief forwards, while Master Chief can't help it, Newton's third law dictates that he will push Spider-Man backwards. Now, Spider-Man will feel that force backwards, rather like your seat does in the car case, uh, but you feel like you're being pushed forwards, like so. So to clarify my point of view, here's a quick interactive physics simulation just showing you the setup. I think it's probably fair to say that you know what it feels like. We just may not agree on the best description for it. Is this feeling the feeling of being pushed backwards, or is it the feeling of being pushed forwards? So let me run the simulation and walk you through the way I'm seeing it. If I press run, the car gets going forwards, and we see what happens here is there's an interaction between the back of the seat and the person. In fact, what happened there is the seat pushed the person forwards. And of course, that made the person get going forwards. Is that the feeling of being pushed backwards? I don't think so. If, uh, if you were to feel getting pushed backwards, you would have to feel something on your front of your body, something on your chest perhaps, something that is actually pushing you inwards. It wouldn't just be the result of you ending up pressed against the back of your seat. It would feel like there's something pressing on the front of you. 
And that just doesn't happen in the setup. So there you have it, my somewhat non-standard answer to a pretty standard physics question. I hope, if nothing else, I've caused you to think about the situation, uh, especially if your initial answer was the opposite of my own, in which case I hope that I've changed your worldview. And if I didn't succeed, I really challenge you to continue to think about it, or let me know in the comment section exactly where you think I went wrong. Thanks for watching.